My name is Alex Cecilio. I'm a graphic artist and I'm going to give you a few tips on how to draw well in Photoshop. So um, I have right now just um, a my paint brush tool selected and I'm going to just teach you a couple of ways to make your drawing a little bit easier in Photoshop. And the first thing I'm going to teach you is using layers. Um, now layers is probably one of my favorite parts personally about Photoshop because you can do so much with it. So the first thing you can do is if your layers panel isn't open, just go to window and go to layers or click F7. Um, and this will just open this panel up. And what you're going to want to do is the first thing, you're going to get this, this background layer. So you're going to want to go to this little icon right here and click that, which creates a new layer and create two of them. And keep your background empty because you could really, you could really use it um, in the future and it helps you kind of keep track of your drawing. So one of my favorite things about drawing in Photoshop is the paint brushes. And if you're using a pen tablet like I am, um, you're gonna want you know, the ideal line of like a real pencil, which would be light when it's light pressure, dark when it's heavy, light again, so that you can get like a really nice um, pencil-like line. It's a lot like using MS Paint. You're, use, you're drawing in pixels and it looks more like this um, as opposed to using your brush tool which is more kind of like a smoother flush line. And I'm just going to show you how you get the pencil tool. You go over to your paintbrush tool and you hold it down and you select the pencil tool. And the cool thing about the pencil tool versus the pen to, uh, versus the brush tool is if you draw a shape like a circle that's closed in and then you use the paintbrush and draw a circle that's closed in and then you want to fill it, you're going to have a bit of trouble filling in your paintbrush line versus filling in your pencil line. But also, you can always unclick anti-alias, which is right there up on the top. It'll be on your pencil and your brushes, and then you can fill it so that there, you'll still get it with your paintbrush. There's really no way to avoid that. Um, but when you're using the pencil tool, it fills in perfectly and with no uh, ugly alias line. Um, and if you want to draw a smudged line, this is the last little bit, um, you can draw that and then you can go to, normally this will look probably more like this, that's under the blur tool, hold the, down the blur tool, go to smudge, and smudge your line. And you might ask why this is important. Um, sometimes a lot of um, graphic illustrators like to draw a face, but then have, or draw, draw an illustration of like a hand, for example, we'll draw this hand, and then they'll want to copy it, and they'll want this line underneath, actually I'll show you, um, you can copy it and then add another layer below it, paste it, and then, you know, they might want to make this line a little bit more um, glowy for the sake of having a kind of um, radiating illustration. And it's hard to explain, but if you look at um, some really well done illustrations by, for example, Alessandro Barbucci, who did Sky Doll, he, his lines are a lot like that. Um, they're kind of like flushy like that. Um, and it's a really nice effect if you do it right. Um, it can be tricky, but when you get it, it, it'll look really good. And that is some drawing tips for you in Photoshop. My name is Alex Cecilio, and thank you.